independent events. Okay, let's say if two balls are taken out from a box containing several, several red and white balls without replacement, the property of the event, the event of the color of the second ball, say white, depends on the color of the first ball. If the first ball taken out is white, then there are now uh, less white balls in the box. And so the probability of getting another white ball for the second ball is now smaller. On the other hand, if the first ball taken out is red, then the number of white balls remain the same. But the total number ball, uh, the, the total number of balls is, is now less. Then the probability of getting white ball is now greater. So this means that the second event is depend on the first event. On the other hand, if two balls are taken out with replacement, for example, the first ball taken out, its color is noted, then replaced back to the box before the second ball is taken. And then, the situation for the second event is actually uh, exactly as the first. So, this means that the two events are not dependent anymore. In terms of conditional probability, we say that A independent of event B if PA given B equals to PA, meaning A is not depend on B. And similarly, we say that event B is independent of A if PB given A is equals to PB. When an event A is independent of B, the probability of A happening does not depend on whether B happens or not. From the relationship, the probability of A intersect B equals to PA given B times PB. If A is independent of B, then PA intersect B equals to PA times PB. So PA, we already know that PA given B is PA. And then this is, we call it the multiplication rule of probability. If A and B are mutually, uh, mutually exclusive events, A intersect B equal to null set, then PA intersect B equals to Zero. Therefore, from B, P, uh, the property of B given A equals to P A intersect B over P A, and also P A given B equals to P A intersect B over P B. Then, when the intersection is zero, meaning P B given A times P A equals to P A intersect uh, P A given B times P B equals to zero. Remark. If A and B are independent events, then A and B prime, A prime and B, and A prime and B prime are also independent events. So, if you have any intersection between A or B or A prime, B prime, you just multiply both events. Example 1. Uh, suppose two events A and B are independent. So for this question, uh, it mentioned that A and B are independent. So given PA 0.4, PB 0.25, find A, PA intersect B, and B, PA union B. Let's discuss the solution for A, PA intersect B find the probability A intersect B. So these two are uh, independent events. So PA times PB. So you just multiply these two, 0 0.4 times 0 0.25. So you get 0 0.1. 
For the second part is PA union B, use this formula PA plus PB minus PA intersect B. And we noted that PA intersect B are two uh, events which is uh, independent event. So just PA times PB. So just substitute all the values that we have 0 0.4 plus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.1. Therefore, it is equals to 0 0.55.